What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we finally defeated Milo, the very first gym leader. And, well, we just gotta heal up our Pokemon and move on right here because, well, we got stuff to, to complete, things to accomplish, and more gym battles to actually obtain and all that crud. And, well, I think... Yeah, if you defeat gym leaders, if you progress with the gym leaders and all that stuff, you can actually buy a lot more, you know, a little bit more better stuff. Uh, as you can see, we got ourselves uh, great balls that are now being sold. So I'm gonna, t I'm gonna get ten of those guys, and with that, we get a premier ball. And well, we need more super potions, obviously. Now you guys are seeing how much money I have. Well. Off screen, while I was actually, you know, capturing some wild Pokemon in the wild area, I was actually getting a lot of uh, rare items that you can actually sell. So I sold all those guys, and we're going to collect them again so we can actually build up a nice fortune. And, well, here we are moving on right here, guys. And, yes, we're going to grab an energy route, which is actually nice. And maybe I should have gone through this area to actually grab more items, but you know me. I wanted to get the gym badge and all that crud. So let's see. Here we go. Grab this. And we found ourselves in Everstone, which prevents Pokemon from evolving. And, well, here we have a TM. Here we have the TM97 Brutal Swing. And this little thing right here, the user swings its body around violently to inflict damage on everything in its vicinity. It's a very, very good move for double battles and all that crud, guys. So, yeah, pretty good stuff right there. Okay, so we're progressing. We're getting stuff. And, well, let's see, what is this right here? There should be an item right here, but no. You can actually fish for Pokemon, which we kind of won't do. And I, I feel a disturbance in the force right now. I kind of do. Here we are, Route 5, guys. Disturbance in the force. And there is somebody right there waiting for us. So let's go ahead and give our Pokemon or our other Pokemon some uh, some uh, time on the on the screen right here. Because it was all the Beck show. Let's go ahead and start off with a Bone Saw right here. All right, bring it on. Oh, so it's a double battle. Okay, so yeah, let's go right ahead and uh, double battle. Anywho, um, there is an interesting Pokemon that I kind of want to capture, guys. Very, very interesting Pokemon that you can only get in the wild area. I'm still doing a little bit of research on how to do that. Once I figure it out, I do believe we can actually get it, uh, like, once we go into our fourth gym badge and all that crud. So keep that in mind. We will have, we will have all of that uh, pretty soon here. In the meantime, let's just kick some butt right here. Look at that. Okay, so Helioptile kicking our butt. So here goes a Dragon Claw. And Helioptile has been defeated. Yes, I have never been more happier. And, well, let's see. Here comes a Swift from Balto. Big booty Balto. Look at that booty. And Clink? Yeah, Clink is a... Yeah, Clink is a Steel-type Pokemon we don't want to mess right now. And, yeah, this is probably where we need a... We kind of need our Pokemon right here. So here we go. Let's go for the slash attack and let's go straight for a swift attack just to hit everything in sight. So here we go. Dragon Claw. That hits it pretty hard. And here comes the swift attack. Ah, dang. Okay, so bind attack. So we're getting bite. We're getting binded by everything. Holy crud. Holy crud. Okay, so let's see. Oh god. Bind and bind. Is that the only thing you have? I kind of feel like that it is. So it, here we go. Let's go with the same attacks again. Dragon Claw, hopefully for the win. And that does it. Clink has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And that's a little more experience points. We have defeated these interviewers right here. And yes, your camera was not working. Sure, whatever it is, man. And well, let's see. That is that. So let's just move on right here, guys. And would you look at that? We got some newer Pokemon right here. We can actually find a lot of Pokemon. Now, one thing that you can actually find here, guys, is the Pokemon Daycare. And before we do anything, there, there's an item afoot. There's an item to foot. And yes, we don't want to get attacked by any of these guys right here. But yes, you can actually find interesting Pokemon right here, too. That was a shell shell, a, a soul shell or something. And stop following me. Good gravy. Okay, get out of the way. Ah! Okay, there you go. And, well, let's see. The Pokemon Daycare is right here. Now, 
let's go inside. There is somebody right here that you need to talk to. So, let's talk to this lady right here. I need to move. Okay. It's a Toxel. A real Toxel. I found an egg and carried it around with me and hashed it into a Toxel. Why don't you raise it? It's a real shocking Pokemon. So, there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Toxel. Okay. And, well, look at this guy right here, Toxel, a very interesting Pokemon, the baby Pokemon. It stores poison in an internal poison sack and secretes the poison through its skin. If you touch its po uh, this Pokemon, a tingling sensation follows. Yes, we will be giving this guy a nickname, and I need to remember what the nickname was, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are back again as you guys probably already know I do have a hard time remembering all these things because it's been a while guys uh, So yes, here it is. We got ourselves a blitzkrieg and yes I will be putting this Pokemon on our team because it is a very very interesting very powerful Pokemon And let's go ahead and add this guy to our team now Let's see big booty Balto. I'm sorry, but you are the odd man out. You've done a perfect service right here and Tox Tox, there it is. Okay, so here's something about this, okay? And well, we get experienced candies, which is great. And we, we got a, quite a few. All right, um, so here's the thing, guys. With, with Toxel or Blitzkrieg, it's at level one. This little guy right here, depending on, uh, depending on its uh, nature, it will evolve into a very interesting Pokemon or a different form. Since we got a bashful nature, I do believe we're going to get its, uh, I think it's a guitarist one, not the bassist one. So I could be wrong. But yes, level one. And, well, let's see. Hmm. Got a level one Pokemon right here. So let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and start battling some Pokemon right here. There is another Pokemon right here that we can actually find down and below and you know what we're gonna get to them in just a little bit but let's go to the other the other area right here that way we can actually like you know see what we can actually find there will be a few trainers that you can actually battle down here including finding some interesting Pokemon itself and well one of them is a Swirlix a fairy type Pokemon that you know we all love uh, I am definitely not risking uh, bone saw right here because it is weak against fairy type Pokemon and well, let's go right ahead and grab this. And we get ourselves three heal balls. Trying to get the heck away, and we are getting attacked. And would you look at that? It is a Nuzleaf. Okay. I do not want to mess with the Nuzleaf right now. We're gonna be moving on. And from here on, we, we we're probably gonna be cutting off the, the the whole wild Pokemon battle, if unless it's important. But look at this, guys. We found ourselves another tree. And well, let's go ahead and grab whatever is up here. There's two. Let's get one more. And we get attacked by a Pokemon. Good gravy. Okay, so this this is fantastic right here. This is fantastic. We're going to run away because we do not want to get attacked by it. Or we do not want to battle this guy right here. So let's see. Get some Pokemon berries and all that crud. And there's nothing right now. So let's go ahead and battle this chef right here. Oh, I found a trainer. Well, it's the Gathering Berries. Mm, okay. Did not understand what you just said, but here we are taking on Cook Stewart. And here he comes out with an Applin. Believe it or not, guys, this Pokemon is a Dragon-type Pokemon. I don't know how, but it is. So let's go with a Dragon Claw. And Dragon Claw does the trick right there. Level 20. And yes, we messed with this guy right here. So that's a lot of experience points. And Blitzkrieg, growing levels like crazy. I did that on purpose. And it's now at level 8, which is great. And this guy's like, I've given my Pokemon a berry when it's a HP got low. Okay. All right, cool. Fantastic. Okay, so let's see. There must be an item right here somewhere. This area right here, you can actually find a very, very powerful Pokemon too, guys. That right there happens to be a Farfetch'd and, well, a Galarian Farfetch'd and, well, we're not going to be messing with these guys right now. So let's go ahead and grab some items right here. Two big mushrooms, which you can actually sell for a lot of, uh, a lot of monies right there. And 
I did that on purpose so we can meet this guy right here, which, yeah, I'm not going to mess with. So, let's get the heck out of here. Let's go ahead and run away. And let's go, let's go right back up to this person. We got two trainers. So, let's go right ahead and train our Pokemon while we're at it. And so, here it is. We are being challenged by Debra. And she is coming out with her Minchino. And, well, here comes Bonesaw. Bonesaw is looking like a Bonesaw. And, well, let's go straight for a Dragon Claw right here. So, here we go. Dragon Claw. And that right there takes care of Minchino. So, let's see. How many experience points does Blitzkrieg get? And that is just one. And, well, let's see. About to come out with a Dedenne, or I think. I think that's what it is. So, let's go right ahead and go with Kiss. It's been a while since I've used Kiss. Let's go. Let's use some Kiss. Look at this guy. Kiss. And he's throwing out his tongue just to mess with these guys. And, well, Steeny looking pretty cool. But here comes a headbutt attack. And Kiss. That's right. Physical as always. But here comes that Razor Leaf attack. And, yes, we are getting hit right there. So let's go headbutt attack. And... Oh, wow. Okay, so you're healing yourself? Okay, I see how it is. Here we go. Headbutt attack for the win. And there goes Sini. Sini Weenie. Meanie. And, well, there we go. More experience points for all of us. That is good. That is great. That is fantastic. And I think Bex is learning agility. So let's go ahead and take away Growl. I know, I know. It's just whatever, guys. But I eh, kind of need to learn all these moves and all that crud. So there we go. Debra has been defeated. And... You know, I just realized something here, okay? Let's go straight to the bag. Let's go back to this, the TMs. Let's go ahead and sort our Pokemon, or our, our new items right here, okay? So we got Pin Missile, Kiss can actually learn, and Scary Face, the majority of our Pokemon can learn. Swift, everybody can learn except for Blitzkrieg and Michelangelo. Rock Blast, uh, Payback. Darn it, I'm trying to learn something here. Hold on, Brutal Swing, nobody. Focus Energy, Waterfall. Really? Waterfall? You can't learn Waterfall? Good gravy. And, well, Shadow Ball is a good move. Dragon Claw, Seed Bomb, Zen Headbutt. Drill Run is a definite good move that we can use. Throat Chop. Okay, seriously? So, okay, well, let's see. You know what? Let's go ahead and give Throat Chop to our good old buddy, Kiss. Since it's the only Pokemon that can really learn anything, so actually, you know what? Let's just keep it at that, okay? It just it has a good move. Well, we'll take care of everything else later. So let's go right ahead and take on this individual right here. My partner's Pokemon has been growing in a really unique way. Check it out. Okay, check it out. Okay, so here we are taking on Breeder Adrian, and he's going to be coming out with a Stuffle. This Pokemon is a unique Pokemon, too, because it is both a normal and fighting-type Pokemon. And, well, let's go straight for that Dragon Claw. And there we go. Hitting this Stuffle, it, it does have a pretty good move. And there's that Brutal Swing. And, well, let's see. You know what? Let's go straight for a Slash Attack. See how that works. And that... Yeah, okay. It doesn't really be... It, it's not really effective because of this... Dual tap Pokemon right here, so let's go right ahead and go straight for a Dragon Claw. Yeah, this is a battle to the finish, and yes, Stuffle, you have been defeated. Oh yes, and Blitzkrieg just growing levels, and here comes a Ralts now. Huh, we could use that, but let's go right ahead and you know what? I have yet to use this guy. Okay, so. Let's go to Michelangelo, or Michelangelo right here, because yes, uh, you know, I've captured it, never really used it, and I do think it's a very good Pokemon to actually have, so let's go straight for a, po a bite attack, and since it's a bite, it's a move with its jaws, it's boosted up just a little bit, and well, here comes a draining kiss. Oh my lord, okay, so that right there drains us of some of our energy so let's go again with another bite attack Michelangelo bite and there you go Ralts has been defeated and there we go more experience points for all of us and here 
Here he comes uh, with a cutie fly. So I kind of want to use him, but you know what? We got to go with uh, Shadow Blade right here because don't necessarily trust Blitzkrieg right at the moment. And well, cutie fly. Cutie fly is a fairy type Pokemon. I just realized that. Holy crud. Okay, so yeah. All right, let's go. Pluck attack. See what this does right here. Pluck. Plucky duck. And that right there does it. Okay. Okay, so we're doing a good job. We're doing a pretty uh, decent job right there. And yes, our Pokemon are growing levels. Say, say hello to the level 20 club right there. And well, Pokemon living creatures at all. You can't always raise them how you want. That is true. Okay. So let us move on right here, guys. Uh, one, one thing. You can actually find yourself a Galarian Farfetch'd in this area right here. Now, the thing is, they are very rare to actually find, guys. Uh, I would suggest just moving around every so often. They will appear. Um, for me, I actually wanted to. I actually wanted to get a Galarian, uh, a Galarian Farfetch'd, but uh, I kind of thought about it, and I was like, you know what, maybe. I should save it for something else, a little bit different or something. It it, it did be it, it was a pretty valuable Pokemon on my team going into my last walkthroughs, but eh, well, you know, we can always get some more Pokemon right here. So let us move on and would you look at that? Team Yell is like, Oi! Just hand over the bike already! We need to cross it over this long bridge! We're gonna use that bike to chase around gym challengers. It'll be a scream! How barbaric! It won't work that way. You don't even have a Rotom with you. Hey, young challenger. They're trying to steal my bike. Please, if you can give them a good thrashing, I would be in your debt. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and give them a thrashing. That's right. I'm twirling my arms. I'm not listening to these guys. I'm just going to keep on battling right here. Okay, so here we go. Team Yell Grunt wants the battle, and here he comes out with a zigzagoon. Okay, Zigzagoon, get ready for some Bone Saw right here. And, well, let's see. Bone Saw. Let's go with a, a little bit of a Dragon Claw right here. So, Dragon Claw for the win. And just like that, Zigzagoon has been defeated. Oh, yes. Okay, so let's see. You're going to be coming out with a Thievil. So, let's go straight for Bex. Give it a little bit of experience points. Or, not nah, a little bit of a fight right here. And, well, let's see. Bex going with Thievil. Thievil, how's it going? Looking like a thief itself, but let's go straight for a double kick attack. Bam! And that's one. And there we go. Two. Thievil has been defeated. I'm pretty happy about that, guys. And, well, let's see. More experience points. Blitzkrieg is catching up to all of his uh, teammates right there. And, well, yes. Okay. So we actually have to take on another guy right here. So let's go right ahead and just continue on. And you guys. Oh, man. So I'm going to continue saying this again. But the plan right here into our Pokemon uh, our Pokemon Sword Walkthrough is we're going to use native Pokemon for the very beginning. The, well, the, the initial adventure right here. Eventually, when we get to the Crown Tundra and all that stuff and other things, we're going to be using different Pokemon that we use in different generations, different teams and all that stuff, since you could actually capture the majority right here. Um, and, yeah, this time, we're going to do it all right. Like, we're going to do it right where everything's going to be singular and everything is going to be right here in one walkthrough. I know that, you know, I, I made the mistake of playing both games and taking so long to actually finish these things. But this time around, we're going to actually do it the right way. And, well, these guys are running away, and this guy's in our day. He's like, my word, you're quite the trainer. And I see you have a Pokedex, too. That means you have a Rotom with you. Fantastic. I think I'll give this bike to you, then. Better you have to have it than Team Yell. Now you know the Rotom and love motors very, very much, right? Enough to jump right into machines that have motors. So that you got me thinking, if I attach a motor to the bicycle, then maybe I can get the Rotom to pop into it as well. Hmm, I see. Come on now, give it a shot. Enjoy cycling together with the Rotom to its fullest. Chop, chop now. You and Rotom ride together with the bicycle together. And well, here we have a Rotom bike. And the bike can be uh, combined with a, uh, with a Pokemon Rotom to turbo boost. I'll read the manual, 
press the plus button or the negative button to ride the bike with your Rotom and get, let's get cycling. Okay. So I'll be right back with you guys. I gotta go to the restroom real quick. Okay, so that's what happens when you hydrate a lot, guys. You have to go pee a lot. So let's go ahead and press that plus button and look at that. We have a bike and this will actually enable us to travel faster. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to some people right here. Uh, okay, they're talking about Team Plasma right here. Okay, so as you can see, further along the way, you'll actually see that the wild area has a little bit more to offer, which we will be getting to after the third badge. Um, but as of right now, you can't you can't go there. The only messed up part is that the Pokemon are going to be a little bit stronger, and you probably won't be as strong. Maybe you will. You probably won't. Uh, well, you probably won't have the capability to to battle these Pokemon because they will beat you or you know using some Pokemon that you probably saved up in the storage I oh crud baskets there you are Draven I'm warming I'm warning you though any closer than that that we're going to have to battle you and me uh, okay so I guess we're gonna have to battle this Joker yet again so let's go ahead and restore some stuff right here yeah I yeah the bashing of hop continues as many of you guys already know, Hop is not really my favorite person in the whole wide world. Now, let's go right ahead and take a look at some items right here. Okay, so battle bag. Actually, hold on. Let's go right here. Type. Okay, so let's see. We got a leaf, a leaf stone. Then we got a cleanse tack. This right here keeps wild Pokemon away. We got a, she a sharp beak. So we're going to give that to Shadow Blade right here for the time being. And heavy duty boots. I'm not going to be using that right now. But I think I understand what it's for. It's for gigant Gigantamaxing or something like that. And yes, we got 18 rare candies. And that was all because we were capturing a boatload of uh, Dy Dynamax Pokemon, guys. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I warned you. We're both gym challengers. Who've earned ourselves a grass badge? This is a perfect training. I don't know why you keep on looking like you're trying to turn Super Saiyan. I don't know, but... <sighs> Time to teach this guy a lesson. I really, I really would like to mop the floor with this guy. Slap him upside his head and say, Look, man, the story's about me. I'm going to whoop that candy, you know what? And, uh... You know, just, 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 be, just be aware that, you know, I'm going to embarrass you quite a few times. Not only me, but other opponents, too. And I will laugh at you. Yeah, I'm that bad of a friend. Holy crud, and well, this guy is gaining some levels right here, so let's go straight for another Dragon Claw. And well, the one thing Hop is, he's very resourceful with his uh, healing items, so there we go, another HP. Here we go, Dragon Claw. And let's go straight for a Dragon Claw yet again. And just like that, Wulu has been defeated. Okay, so that's some good experience points for all of us right there. And well, let's see, Corvus Squire is coming up. I think it's time. Let's go with Blitzkrieg. See what it can do. I I, I kind of hope that it actually does some pretty good stuff right here. So Corvus Squire, what up? And it's a nerve. It's looking pretty cool. So let's go right ahead and use a nuzzle attack. And well, it is faster than us. And it, this is the baby Pokemon. Holy crud! Fury attack. So here we go. Nuzzle attack. And that right there will hit it pretty hard. So let's see. What to do? What to do? What to do? What to mother loving do? Okay, I get it. Stop talking to me. Damn. And yes, you are paralyzed, my friend. I'm talking about you, Corvus Squire, not this kid right here. So yes, you cannot move. Gattaca. So here we go. Nuzzle. And that right there will hit it hard. And, well, while I'm at it, let's go right ahead and save our Pokemon right here. Let's go to Michelangelo, or Michelangelo. And, uh, it does have a little bit more of a speed advantage now. So here we go. Michelangelo, Michelangelo. And here's the Leer attack. Not, not the thing that you were expecting right there. So let's go straight for a Water Gun. And here we go. Water gun for the win, I think. Nope. God dang. Yeah, this Pokemon is a little stronger than usual, but luckily for us, we do have a move that can actually get boosted right here. So with the bite attack. 
And that right there hit it a little hard. So let's go ahead and try this one more time. And Corvusquire has been defeated. And yes, we get experience points. Yes, sir. Look at that. Okay. All right. And Kiss wants to learn Rest. I am not going to teach him that because, well, I'm more of the Pokemon that Pokemon Trinity hits and all that crud. Now, here comes Thwacky. Thwacky. Let's go with Bex. Thwacky. Yes, I actually had that Pokemon. It was Optimus. And I'm not going to lie, it was actually a pretty fun Pokemon to actually have. Learned quite a few good moves and all that crud. And, well, Thwacky's coming. Thwacky looks like it's about to beat me with those two sticks. But guess what? I got Flame Charge. And Flame Charge is going to go like this. And, oh, crud. And, well, there's a speed ri rising. And there's a double hit attack right here. And that really doesn't work right there. So let's go again with a Flame Charge. And a Flame Charge it is. Look at that. Okay. Thwacky defeated. Okay, and more experience points for all our Pokemon, including Blitzkrieg right here. And Hop has been embarrassed yet again. Like, seriously, how are you going to be the league champion if you can't defeat your own rival? You talk like if you've defeated me at some point. You've gotten strong, Draven. Seems I've got to train hard uh, from now on. And we get ourselves a revive. Still have yet to use any. Next up is Nesta, the leader of the water gym. And my favorite gym leader of this whole region. She is a beautiful one. Okay, so let us move on. Uh, let's see, right here, resist feather. Yes, sir. And, well, let's see, there's probably going to be another feather right here. If I could find it. Oh, there it is. Look at that clever feather. I think we've already gotten that right there. And, uh, well, there we go. The genius feather. And, uh, whoa, look at that. You could actually get attacked by a Pokemon like that. And, well, here we are in... I do not remember what kind of route we are in. So, let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. This is going to be a nice nice episode, guys. You thought that I was going to pause right here, but no. We're going to actually battle this lady right here. So, let's go right ahead and do that. Work to raise the good points of a Pokemon. Don't worry about the bad points. Good and bad. Good or bad. Okay. So here we go, guys. Taking on Denise. And she will be coming out with a Cherubi. Here we got Kiss. The Kiss Knight. The Knights of, uh, well, any of you guys already know what Kiss stands for. But for those who don't know, Knights in Service of Satan. That's what it's, uh, well, the band Kiss is named after. You should have seen, you should have seen uh, the the outcry or the outroar of uh, you know of its name when it, people actually described it. It was freaking wild, freaking wild. No wonder people hate rock and all that crud. So here we go, Blitzkrieg coming out, and well, Rube is here, ready to go. And well, let's see, let's go straight for a nuzzle attack. Hopefully, Blitzkrieg can actually hit this guy. But here comes an air cutter. And that right there hits me a little hard. So here we go. Nuzzle attack. And that right there does some damage. Paralyzes the Pokemon, but it does. I, I, again, I still don't trust this Pokemon right here. So let's go straight for Bex. Hmm. 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 All right. You're in charge, Bex. Let's go right ahead. And, well, here comes a confusion attack. Luckily for us, Bex is not a fighting type Pokemon right here. So let's go straight for a Flame Charge. And we're waiting and waiting. And here comes the Flame Charge. And just like that, Wubat has been defeated. And, well, look at that. Okay, so Pokemon Breeder Denise has been defeated. I'm feeling good about that, too. Okay, so let's see. We're going to grab this. Found ourselves three X uh, Specials. And if you see that glowing Pokemon right there, guys, that means this Pokemon will actually give you a little bit more uh, watts. So what's going to happen is I'm actually going to sw swap out my Pokemon right here. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we get ourselves 219 watts, which is always useful right there, guys. And we're going to continue on right here with some more battles. Now, let's see. 
Okay, we got an extra battle right here. Might as well just beat this girl right here. Um, let's see. So let's go ahead and swap out Blitzkrieg and go with Michelangelo. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon too. That's always nice to heal up Pokemon. And uh, let's see. Let's go straight right here. No, I do not want that. Let's go with Pipe. And let's go straight for a Super Potion right here. And that one's good. Let's go with Blitzkrieg. And let's go with good old Bex. Okay. So let's see. Let's go ahead and battle her. Keep this to yourself, but I'm having Pokemon help my, with my work. Yeah, don't play. Okay, so here we go. Office worker Gabrielle wants to battle us, and she's coming out with a Krogunk. And this is a pretty, uh, it's a pretty cool Pokemon. Very. Very interesting Pokemon that you can actually get in the Sinnoh region. Alright, so let's go straight for a taunt right here. And, well, let's go bite. This is probably our strongest attack by far. And, well, it's not effective because Krogunk is a fighting type Pokemon as well. So, there it is. We're getting hit. And here comes the water gun attack. And dry skin will actually heal it. So that kind of uh, that kind of messes with us a little bit. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Shadow Blade since it is a flying type Pokemon. Okay, alrighty. Okay, alrighty. So let's go right ahead and uh, not eat berries, but here comes the Mud Slap. Does not work on Shadow Blade. And let's go with a Pluck Attack right here. Yeah, there's a reason why she only has one Pokemon because this guy is a little tough. So. There we go, Krogunk defeated. And well, just like that, we get some experience points, defeat the worker, and yes. We yeah, she has found a Pokemon trainer stronger than her. And well, let us move on right here, guys. And I think, yeah, we are close to oh wow, we are very close. Well, not that close. Oh yeah, we are in Holberry. Okay. Look at that. Holberry is looking pretty nice. Look at that. Oh my god. Look at that. Alright. Alright. And would you look at that. We are in Holberry, guys. Finally, after a nice adventure. This is the home to the next gym. And, well, what's going to happen right here, guys, is we're going to pause right here. In the next episode, we're going to take a look at Holberry and then go in for our next gym battle. So stay tuned. Thank you guys again for having all the patience in the world for me. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, the notifications button. And yeah, if you guys want to make a small donation here to this channel, the link is in the description right there below. I will see you guys in the next episode as we explore Holberry. See you guys.